Whoa. Oh. Come on. That's just like nostalgic for me right now. By the way, we're playing a PlayStation game, if you haven't guessed. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an episode of the Non Cooperators where we are playing a. Konami game. Now, granted, Konami is not really the best of friends right now because of metal shit that we're not gonna get into, but we're playing this game. You don't know what that logo is. And if you haven't read the title, we're playing Police Knots. And Space Dude. Moon, the, the, our, the rocket ship, or sail sign. I, I think there's a penis in there. I don't even know. Wow, somebody's shirt that's classic. I'm getting a headache already. And the police knots. Question. Woo! There we go. So, yes, we're playing Police Knots, and I am really happy that we actually are playing this game. But, um, oh, very nostalgic for me. Um, I, think, I feel like I might be co covering up something. Uh, zo uh, zoom myself out a little bit. Might be a little bit too much! Wait, wait, wait. I don't know how much I need, because honestly, I'm looking... I have to play this game very weird now, because I have to look at um, my preview screen because of a whole bunch of BS reasons. Now, um, I did play this game. Hang on. I, I should use just a little bit more. I did play this game a little bit, and the footage got lost, and I got really, really upset, and I got so far, so I could actually continue, but I'm not going to. Oh, shit. Nope, 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 I'm not gonna continue. Mm -mm. Not gonna continue. I will play a new game for you, for you guys, just for you. you there we go, new game. Just for you guys. I, I like that little, uh... Yes, and also do the autosave, why not? I like that little picture of, like, the, uh, the, the Leonardo da Vinci type of dude. Auto save, yes. Thank you for your patience. And now, our feature presentation. Enjoy the show. So, full disclosure, I'm playing Police Knots, but I'm playing, um, this. I'm playing a, um, it's an English translated copy, but it's not English... Uh, 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 voice translated. It's only text translated. Now that's still good. All right, I, I can I can deal with that. It's the best what we got so far. So whatever. But it's gonna be very hard for me to read everything out loud because the year is uh, 2008. Uh, mankind has completed the first space colony beyond. We finally outgrew our uh, cattle. That's the beyond coast. Okay. 2013. Our group of police officers trained as astronauts was charged with providing security. Those expected to immigrate to the colony in 2013. From Scotland Yard, Gates Becker. From Tokyo Metropolis, Joseph Sako, Tina, NYPD, Salvatore, Saptier, and from LAPD, Ed Brown and me. The five of us, the world, the world's elite, became astronauts and police authority. We were called police knots. It's going to be very hard for me to read all the text out loud because the text goes like that really fast. Not to mention, I can't read that fast. I'm, 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 I'm basically illiterate, so I can't even read altogether. Um, it's around. There's a lot of to do in this game, and honestly, my, my previous playthrough, it took me about like uh, half an hour. Um... So like no an hour and a half to do like one segment and it's very long and I completely forgot. Wait a minute, I'm playing a uh, Hideo Kojima game. Everything is so goddamn friggin' long. But I'm sorry. Let's let's watch what happens. Oh, his thrusters go. His thrusters go out. So now he's getting launched into space and his tether snapped. <laughs> you can't hear me in space. An emergency pod that catches him like a pokeball, I guess. I don't know what happened. I don't know. You saw that? Like it, it, it sealed him up. The three-dimensional thing, magic. It just, it just showed. 
So, yeah, that's that. So, then it gets lost in space. 25 years later, this happens. Nothing. <laughs> oh, here we go. Konami presents. Something that happened 25 years, 25 years later. This. Like Mission Impossible, like when they light the fuse and the fuse goes out like that. That's what it reminds me of. I know that's not what it is, it's this. They found the pod. They opened it up. They found... Him. Cryogenically sealed. In perfect stasis. 25 years later. Home. That's what we call it. Uh, the Dale Kojima game. Woo! Dark Jima! Yay! I can't pronounce any of these names, alright? So that's not gonna happen. Um. So yeah, the, um. Old Los Angeles 2040. So yeah, it's 25 years later. Okay. So this game, um. Takes a lot of inspiration from a lot of movies that Hideo Kojima used to watch as a kid. Uh, one of the biggest aspects of this game, of this game, takes a lot of inspiration from is from Le the Lethal Weapon movies. The main character you play as Jonathan Ingram, I think that's what his name is called, has got the portrayed look of uh, Martin Riggs, L. Gibson's character in the Lethal Weapon franchise, while his partner Ed Brown also represents the character of uh, uh, Roger Murtaugh, uh, Danny Glover's character. There's also origin aspects from this game, the origins of Metal Gear Solid. So for all you Metal Gear fans, because I know you guys are watching this out there, because I'm a major fucking Metal Gear fan as well, uh, there's a lot of um, uh, true origins to, uh, you know, Metal Gear Solid that was actually born from, from this game. Like uh, Foxhound, Meryl Silverberg, and even Solid Snake's original design. Or, I'm sorry, original... Um, original character who was supposed to be until they changed it up to being like I want then Kojima said I want my solid snake to look more like Christopher Walken or something like that. Don't ask oh, why Christopher Walken. Oh, hello there. I noticed you had a Metal Gear in there. I wanted to destroy it to save the world from total mass destruction. So we're playing police stats. I don't know why I had a Christopher Walken moment. <laughs> I'm gonna try to, like, do some of the stuff fast because there's, like I said, there's way too much to do. Like, I'll, I'll try to give an example. This episode might run a little bit long. This, this is just a goddamn prologue. My episodes usually run 10 to 15 minutes long. This might run a little bit longer than that, but I'll try to make it as short as possible because, like I said, it is, uh, there's, like, there's a lot to do. Here we go. My name is Jonathan Ingram. あの事故で過去を失った俺はこの汚れた街オールドエルエで寝越し得た甘がいなんて教えてる。だが、俺みたいな過去をなくした男にはそんな世の中の海がなければ飯も食っていけない。せいぜい払いっぱいになるまで
They don't use aluminum, they use biodegradable uh, aluminum cans type of thing. It's very weird. That's an old uh, uh, Bradley oil lighter. Basically, it's a lighter because um, he uses he uses old-fashioned cigarettes. Or not really old-fashioned, they're like... It's a mix. It, I, I, I'll, I'll, this one, I, I'll, I'll, let it, I'll let it go. These are Mossbro... Supposed to be marble cigarettes, but you know, copyright infringement. The only cigarettes in the world that still give off secondary smoke, because the new cigarettes in, uh, in this world do not give off secondary smoke. You base and you don't even need to light them. You just tear off the end and you can just smoke them just like that. I don't like the pure bent. Yeah, they're called bent cigarettes. I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get today. They are mi uh, they're mixed cigarettes, uh, part conventional, part bent. The only brand I've touched now is that. I think it talks about it more. Hang on, because I gotta I gotta keep selecting it. Uh, you can still light the those cigarettes by breaking off the end using the lighter. Uh, using light, um, using lighter adds the flavor. They give off a little smoke and ash, though I don't. Do, uh, uh, though not as much as the real uh, the real ones did. Everything else is just like smoking air, as far as I'm as, as far as I'm concerned. So that's why he will. Um, he likes the old fashioned ones. Well, that's as old fashioned as it gets. It's like half and half. Uh, yada yada yada. So let me light one. I'll hold off now. I just had a few uh, minutes ago. Besides, I'm running uh, low as it is. But look at this. All those cigarettes. It's an empty ashtray stumped across on an antique store. It was uh, easily fine with one of these. Uh, you don't need an ashtray in a, uh, for bent cigarettes after all. Uh, the bunts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it out. People would probably just laugh at me and tell me I'm wasting my time living in the past. Live wherever the hell you want to live. The past is awesome. I should probably clean this out at some point. Some beer. Now, there's also, like, a, I don't know, it's also, like, weird type of beer. It's a half-empty can of beer. The only beer most people can afford nowadays is imitation. That's what, imitation beer. It sucks remembering how good a cold one used to be. Nothing like imitation beer. I'm going to, I guess I'll have some before it gets warm. Ah, nothing but bad memories. On drink it! Do it, drink! Maybe, I might as well finish it. Go, go, go. I honestly thought it couldn't get any worse than, than space food. There you go. Nothing like imitation beer. Alright, so now for the actual important stuff. Pictures. This is when he'll actually start talking. This is a photo of me and Lorraine at Lucas, Wo Lucas Ward. World. Lorraine. Lorraine. Lorraine, my wife. Yeah. No. That was a long time ago. She moved to beyond and remarried after my accident. She's someone else's wife now. She's a Brazil, half Japanese, half American. There's something kind of mysterious about her. I was a cop fresh out of the academy. A look at us, young in love. A student at UCLA we met after her place got uh, a place got robbed. This is actually December. Hang on. Yeah, December twenty fourth, two thousand and eight. Uh, day, uh, first Christmas, I still have the watch she gave me. It was one of those radio control types. It was state of the art at the time. 30 years. So now here's the wedding picture. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. This is me and Lorraine in our wedding day. It was, uh, I was still a cop uh, here in LA. Lorraine dropped out of UCLA after we got engaged. I don't know why, whatever. Lorraine looks like an angel in her wedding dress. Still wear the wedding ring. Lorraine ha had a uh, friend finish the flowers, uh, arranged of the bouquet. If I remember right, Lorraine threw the bouquet right after this was taken. I still don't know how Ed ended up catching it. Ed is a couple of pictures, in, uh, a couple of pictures on my wall. I remember discovering my rehearsal tux didn't fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black tux. Those days I revolved my. Oh, I'm burping like crazy. I revolved my life around job and my job and Lorraine. Woo! Doing, like I said, I'm doing this as fast as I can because we're already like 13 minutes in, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's look to the fun stuff. My Beretta! Well, it's a gun, but it is a Beretta. You'll find out. This is my baby, a Beretta 92F. I've used one of these since I was, uh, I've used one of these since I was a cop. She's a, bon a bona fide recoil gun equipped with a laser sight. A special, uh, I use special 10, 10 round magazine with an armor pier with armor piercing bullets. I don't carry her so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. We're just gonna shoot everything in sight. My badge, but it's a replica badge. This is a replica of my uh, of a badge I had in LAPD. Sure, it sure it takes me back. There's a picture on the uh, of those days on the wall. Let me look at the gun again one more time. 
I doubt anyone else uses these kind of guns in the 21st century and everything. With the birth of the col uh, colony age, nearly all guns now are lift guns. People don't use the recoil guns in weightless environment for obvious reasons. But her, she's part of me. Okay, so, fun fact. In the Lethal Weapon franchise, um, Martin Riggs uses an automatic gun, a Beretta, M a Beretta M92F. Well, obviously he uses he uses the same exact gun, but it's a Beretta 92F uh, 92FS. Also, uh, fun fact for you, uh, for all you Metal Gear fans, in the original Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, Solid Snake also used a Beretta M uh, Beretta 92FS. He also used a Beretta M9 uh, M92F in Metal Gear Solid 2: Sons of Liberty. Also, he also used a Beretta in Snake's Revenge, which that's not really part of the franchise, but still fun fact if you guys really want to know. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> so, um. There's more, uh, oh, messages. It's a video phone with a built-in uh, printer. Though I've disabled the video from my end, most of the cases come in uh, over the phone. Clients don't particularly like to meet in person. So, we gotta check and s Wait. Uh, I'm behind, uh, I'm way behind on bills. I keep expecting uh, to get cut off in one day now. So, let's play some messages. I should check my, ma my machine. Maybe there's a call from someone with a case. Sorry. Wrong number. Thank you for wasting my time. You know what I just realized, guys? There's so much room down here that I'm blocking up all the space. And I apologize. So I'm going to move down here. So I apologize. Now you can see all up here now. You like it? Do you, li do you like it? Huh? Do you like it? Anyway, so back to uh, this. Like more messages. Let's see what's the next, uh, next message that has to say. Hello, Mr. Engen. This is time for the Department of Power and Water in regards to your water bill. <laughs> Maybe if I uh, gave me... Oh, my God. They, they do it way too... They, they, they do it way too fast. When someone's calling me with an actual case. All right, so you know what? I just realized also something. I'm blocking up some text, which just in case if you guys want to read, I got to... Just a little bit. I'm down here! Hi! If you can see me, I'm little. I don't know that it might be too much. Let's see what the next one says. John, where have you been? I feel like crap too, you know. That's why I'm at a bar. Call me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. Still no offers. Any more messages? Let's see what's next. What's the next one? You piece of shit detective! For me, you little punk! I got news for you! Let's say it over! Watch your back! I'm gonna hug it! <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice! When someone's called, uh, called an actual case... I, I think there's a couple more messages. Hi, Tom Olson? We talked before. Listen, I'm not gonna be needing your services after all. Thanks anyway. When's someone gonna call with an actual case? Let's see what the next one says. The sideboard, the signboard, it's got an extra pair of legs, god damn it. This is why people shouldn't have kids. I don't know why. Still no offers. I don't know why, but that that seg that part that message reminded me of uh, Roy Campbell back in Metal Gear Solid 2 when he was the AI and all shit was going haywire and, and also and whatnot. Let's see what the next one says. That's it. Okay. So, um, there's a couple more things. Look, this is a uh, miniature picture, uh, min a miniature of the of Beyond. Ed made it for me. Ed is a couple of pictures on uh, a couple of. Pictures. Well, so let's just see the pictures, because I know this is all going to be nothing but just like looking around and everything, so I do apologize. I'm talking about the episode. There you go. This is a picture. From when I was in LAPD, me and my partner Ed were always together. Oh, saxophone. Ed Brown. Ed Brown. <laughs> One of the guys I've trusted with my life, my best friend. And a good partner. That badge on my desk is a replica of the one I had then. You see the date? I think it's like uh, March 12, 2010. Me and Lorraine were already, hap uh, were already married, husband, uh, hap happily married husband and wife. Me and Ed had been good friends since the academy. We were well known in the They were narcotics. Uh, narcotics at the time, blah, 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 had my brother with me. 
Like I said, I want to do this fast. Because we're already like 30 minutes in. I, again, once again, I apologize. More pictures. This is a photo when I was taken and uh, commented in the selection of the police knots. Five officers were out of the World Organization were chosen out of training. They were called the original cops. They were mercenary. Orange was the, or, the orange color was cool. Okay, that's uh, Gates Becker. Uh, Gates Becker, he came from Scotland Yard in the United Kingdom. I heard he... Uh, okay, that's all you need to know. Uh, that's Sal Salvatore so-and-so. I can't pronounce that Italian name from the NYPD. Hey, New York, whatever. Okay, yeah, in 10 years. Um, that's Joseph Sadu... Oh, I, like I said, I'm not I'm not going to be able to pronounce any type of word like that. He came from Tokyo Mi Metropolitan Police Department in, in Japan. He has now had the head group of the Tussawella group. That's Ed. Chosen out of the LAPD along with me. Looks thinner. And obviously, I was asking what Lorraine was uh, against uh, me going to space. Yeah, I can see why. So, like I said, too much to do. All right, there's another picture right up there. Look at it. It was given to me. Oh, this was, uh, this was a award that was given to me by the mayor back when I was a cop. Me and Ed were a well-known team in the LAPD. This is the only award, the only award that I've ever received for anything. What, you never got a perfect attendance award? We've got, uh, we got it from the chief and nominated from two of us, and the police not thank is thanks to this. Also by given to the mayor was this pen. I got a, I, I got this pen when I was in the LAPD. The mayor gave it to me along with that award. Knowing Ed, he probably still has his too. It was a pretty nice pen. Time. Nice fucking pen! I wrote shit with it! I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. This is a pen that the mayor gave me. Okay. So, let us... This. News clippings. So, this is a newspaper of the article written at the time of the uh, Beyond... Uh, beyond... Co co coast... Coast... Uh, coast... Uh, completion. Like I said, it's very hard for me to, like, really, really talk this fast. Okay. Newspaper clipping of the Beyond... Picture of it. There's a picture of the Beyond Coast right after it was completed. The only thing that they hadn't finished was the... Uh, the the ring, the artillery ring, that model that was, that was supposed to be that. Here's the point of the beyond location in space. It was L5, larger two, red dot. What else? More newspaper clip. Thank. Oh, hello. There's a newspaper article from when I was uh, rescued from the EMPS survival ball three years ago. It was written 28 years after one of Beyond's com uh, com I, I don't know. I spent 25 years inside that thing waiting to be found. I've just... I've had... Homo uh, cosmic phobia ever since. I just can't go back out there anymore. Cosmic phobia, in case you don't know, it's... I know. The cos cosmos. Cosmic. Space. Phobia. Fear. Cosmic phobia. Fear of space. I've had cosmic phobia ever since. Okay. Was that a picture of him? This is a picture of me taken when I was in the police knots. This is a relatively small article in the corner of the newspaper. About this one. Ah. This is a newspaper article found in the a uh, my ancient that uh, occurred that day. The EMS P EMPS space walk outside beyond. It was written close to 25 years ago before the one uh, the rescue. Picture was taken, yada 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 yada. Like I said, a lot of stuff. I, I can't read it all. <laughs> this. Hey. Okay. Yeah, this is a newspaper article re um, reporting on the success of the first manned mission to Mars. Took par I, I took part of it undergoing uh, my police police house training. Written about a year before the article about the EMF, uh, EM EMPS exit. Oh boy. Like I said, a lot of stuff. This is a picture of me encountering a Mars rover on the surface. It was sent to Mars 96 mission. Uh, Mars 96 mission. Oh boy, okay. So, I think pretty much done. Yeah. And we're gonna find out who that is next time on the non-cooperators.